Hello everybody, I just want to say hello and uh, let you know that I've completed my 11th liver flush and um, yeah, so it's still early in the morning, so I'm still releasing stones. I just took my fourth Epsom salt mix around 8 o'clock, I think it's about an hour later. Um, so I'm still in, still in the middle of it. Uh, let me just show you these stones. As you can see, um, you have some big ones, have some small ones. Um, they're actually um, pretty much all very light green, which is an indication that they're they are newer stones. Um, let's see. Uh, some things I noticed uh, last night when I took the grapefruit olive oil mixture um, didn't notice I mean for one thing it was very it was like didn't taste very well to me and this might be in the, you know it might be a factor just how the how the um, the grapefruits are ripe or not or just the olive oil whatever I'm drinking just, I think the olive oil is like Really not that great tasting, like of great quality, and I think the the grapefruits. I mean, it's it's the middle of winter, so um, I don't know. Probably not that. Probably the most tasty ones. Um, so, any case, that wasn't very good, and I had to lay down for twenty minutes, which you should do after you take the mixture. And um, it, was just, it was just gross. I was just like waiting. I was just trying to go to sleep so I could forget about it and just. But yeah. Anyway, so I did that. Um, felt some pressure. I think in the morning, I just felt kind of like the mixture was like swishing around in my stomach all night. And um, even when I woke up in the morning, uh, the same feeling. Um, definitely noticed that. Uh, definitely notice like you get more releases in the morning. You know, right after you take the Epsom salt mixes, which makes sense. Um, so that's when I was I was releasing the most. Um, I actually had thoughts about going to swim in the morning, so I wasn't feeling too bad, but I felt like maybe it's in my best interest to not do that and take it easy and just kind of hang out. And I think ultimately that was a good decision. Um, yeah, so I think probably released uh, about, I don't know, 200, 300, 400 stones. Uh, these plus the ones that were in the toilet, uh, most of them were, were very small. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, nothing too unusual about this one. Uh, I mean, it's interesting that the the stones are are um, they're light, you know, they're light green, and um, it is also interesting that um, there were so many. Uh, this is definitely more, I think, than the past two that I've done. Um, the counts weren't as high as this, and so um, uh, just the ebb and flow is is just curious and surprising. Uh, this also speaks against what, you know, some pe critics would say. Um, some people think that, you know, when you take the olive oil, grapefruit mix, and then you get these stones, it's a byproduct of that. But uh, just giving, like, the various the colors and the, and then the amount of stones that are released and the, um, uh, plus the fact that I've gotten calcified gallstones, which are, like, rock hard not not very soft you know not soft at all uh, kind of speaks against that so um, yeah so the 11th one uh, more stones uh, I think this kind of is it I think this is an indication too that um, I may be <laughs> I may be highly congested so um, it doesn't surprise me, uh, just given my like temperament in the past, uh, my lifestyle, um, my you know my mental, emotional 
health, um, some of the things that, uh, you know, like the medications I was on, for example, when I was, uh, at some point I was, you know, I was taking, I had a, like a lot of acne and I was taking a lot of, um, Accutane and I think Accutane has been proven to be very, very toxic um, and they, you know, even at the time, like my doctor was saying, you know, it's very toxic for the liver. And I was just like, oh, well, I gotta do something about my acne. And like, I don't know what the liver does. Like, okay, I'll just, you know, I won't die. So, you know, I'll just keep taking it. And I, I went on like two dosages of Accutane. So that's one thing I've been thinking about. Um, so any case, like I might, I might be highly congested. And, um, it might take more than, you know, 12, you hear people, you know, speak of 18. I saw some guy's video, he did 40. Um, I'm hoping it's not 40, um, but, you know, given like my lifestyle changes, you know, what I'm eating, um, like the sleep that I'm getting. You know, just the conscious attention that I'm putting on my health. Hopefully, uh, I'm not contributing uh, contributing as much gallstones uh, as I'm eliminating. I doubt that I am. One thing I wanted to be, I'm really trying to be conscious of, is that I do overeat. It's probably not as much as like some, you know, like one would think. Probably not a lot of food, but I just mean overeating in terms of reaching the capacity uh, for my particular stomach and, you know, eating to capacity and maybe pushing a little more through it uh, for whatever reason, like I don't want to waste food or like uh, feeling super hungry or uh, something like that. Um, just be conscious of just of that. One thing I'm hoping is that um, as... I'm eliminating gallstones, I will at the same time be less hungry. Um, that's one thing that, that's one effect that um, I was hoping would happen as a result of this. And I'm not really sure if that is going to happen. It might take a little more um, reprogramming uh, of my mind, um, really trying to meditate on like where that where that is coming from, where this need to overeat is is coming from, because that could be contributing to uh, the gallstones. And um, yeah, certain other little things that you know I won't um, expand on. So, anyways, that's the result of uh, of my eleven liver flesh. And uh, if you're liking these videos, uh, please uh, thumb up it, uh, spread the word out. Uh, start the debate, uh, start the discussion. If you have any questions, uh, feel, feel free to shoot me um, any comments um, or message me. Uh, I'd be glad to help. Um, yeah. All right. Take care.